You have any fiber going? Hello. Today on Cruising with E-Rider, we're down here with Doug at Gotham Cruisers. Doug, tell me a little bit about what we're going to see today. Sure. What we're going to see is we make a variety of uh, custom fiberglass items, uh, kit cars especially, and we do a 66 Gotham Cruiser, which is right behind us. We do an 89 Cruiser, and we also do a Gotham Cycle. Well, man, when I came down here, it was like stepping into my childhood, to be perfectly honest. That was the first thing that impacted me. What got you into this stuff? You know, about 10 years ago, I had an opportunity to buy a 66 Cruiser body. Okay. Um, and I, I pursued that, found it, and on the way home from where I picked it up, I thought, boy, I could reproduce these. And as I build my own car, sell kits, and it'll supplement my build. Now, ah, okay. So we've been doing this full time for six years. God. It took quite a while to, to get the main body to where we wanted to pull tooling off of it, where we felt it was good enough to pull tooling. But the funny part is we've made a lot of kits for people and still don't have our own car. So, so literally by tooling, you, you actually took a car and made your, your, your mold right off of it. Correct. That's correct. Man, how long did that take? Uh, actually, like on the 89, it took a solid 30 days to pull all the tooling. Okay. I think the 66, it took about 15 or 16 days of eight-hour days. Oh, my God. That's a lot man. of work. That's a lot That's of work. A lot of work. So, so you got into this really to supplement your own hobby. That's correct. And as Ain't a, that the best way to well, get into this absolutely. stuff? Absolutely. And, and so far, we again, we have not made a car for ourselves. Now, why haven't you guys got a car? No, we just, it, we're, luckily, we've been too busy making other people okay. kits to, to make now, ourselves Now, do you one. sell a lot of these? I mean, I know I want one. And we'd be happy to sell you one. Uh, actually, yeah, we do. We're, we're, we're keeping uh, fairly busy. And we're also expanding the inventory, too. Okay. We've got a chopped Merc. And some different items that were... So you're were, going to start making chopped Mercury's too? Yeah, chopped 49 Mercs. He's going to take all my money. So, but yeah. So that, now what got you into the chopped Mercury's? I mean, are, are you expanding out of bills? Yeah, what we want to do is we want to get away from the bats because that's a very, a it's, very it's niche... It's a niche market, absolutely. right? Absolutely. And, and there's only so many that we're going to be able to sell. Right. So we want to do more mainstream hot rod uh, okay. items. I don't blame you. Yeah. The, the surprising thing for us with the bats is the cycles have really taken off. The cycles. Now, I've seen the cycle that you're working mm -hmm. on. Tell me a little bit about it. Sure. Um, back in 66, when they made the Batman movie right. with Adam West and Brent right. Ward, they, uh, they had a bigger budget than the TV. So they needed more bat gadgets. More bat stuff. Sure. They, so they came up with a bat boat. A I bat, remember the bat boat. The bat cycle and a bat helicopter. Okay. So we're, I don't think we're going to do the helicopter. Well, at least not yet, anyway. No, not yet. As your budget increases, now never it, say it, never. Exactly. But the cycle was something we could tackle. They started out life as a 66 Yamaha. Really? Now, is that kind of hard to come they're, up with? They're getting tough to find. I bet. Since they haven't made them since 66. Now, so, now, now how close are these to original? Uh, the tooling that we were able to obtain and then... The parts that we got, they're right off of the cycle. So the cycles are as close as we can possibly I get. See. Now, 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 when did you get to touch the, did you ever see the original cycle? Did you get to take the tooling uh, off one of those? We didn't pull the tooling. Uh, a man that we know in California okay. actually had a the A friend bike. of a we friend. Did. Oh, right. we love friends of friends. Uh, like the car, like the 66 car, we've actually been to Bears' shop and had the opportunity to do some measurements. An incredible man. Uh, very nice guy. Yeah, very nice guy. Yeah. Very humble and uh, got quite a toy collection too. Oh yes, he does. So, yeah. But he's he's uh, he's a good guy. We were able to look at the car and get measurements and things off of the original car. Okay. So we're pretty confident we're building something that's very close. Very close. And so onto the bike. It starts mm -hmm. off with what year now? 1966 Yamaha. Okay. So now once you find one of these bikes, I imagine it takes quite a bit of time to. Yeah, we, we tell people on the builds six months, but we get them in probably in about four and a half. It's got the sidecar and everything? Everything. Uh, the, the, uh, the stat, we make a static go-kart that goes into the side area. We start, we co completely tear apart a 66 Yamaha and take it right down to the bare frame. Oh, so you rebuild the, the bike to build? Yes, absolutely. Oh. So it's a good running bike. So it's, a, so it's like a brand new bike when absolutely. you get it. Absolutely, absolutely. And luckily there's enough parts available different sources that really? have a lot of nos stuff still available you're lucky absolutely my wife would never let me squeeze her in a sidecar like that never <laughs> so if somebody wanted one of these mm -hmm. what would be the process well that's something where they could just contact us we get a lot of stuff via email okay and we have a website we have a brand new website that's coming out very soon really yes yeah, now, now, now do you have the the web address sure the web address is gothamcruisers.com 
GothamCruisers.com. Right, all one word, GothamCruisers.com. Okay. All right. And uh, so a lot of people contact us via email. Uh, we get we get some people coming in, you know, through the door, but most of it's it's. So it's not really email. a showroom, what we would call a showroom operation, no, it, at least not yet. It's a working shop. You know, when they get their first car for themselves, they'll have a showroom. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a fiberglass shop that we have the dust. To it's a real it's a real it's shop. A real it's a shop. real shop. Yeah. yeah, that's the first thing that impressed me when I came down here. It's not one of the glass fronted buildings where you know, it's a real shop. They're really building them down here. We really are. So now, time frame from concept to finished product. Sure. On the cars, we're telling people about 12 months to build well, a complete fast, finished car. That's fast, man, to build a whole car like yeah. that. Now, we just turned out an 89 Cruiser. That's the Michael Keaton car right. from the first movie. Which is a lot more complicated. It, it, with working machine guns and the working canopy and some now, different things. did you things. actually send one to Barrett Jackson? Yes, yes. I, have, I heard the rumor, and that was really what got us down here. Tell me a little bit about, and we didn't get no footage. They didn't call us to get footage. But tell me a little bit about what we missed. Well, we sold uh, a car to a gentleman that actually has, has run two other cars, 89s, through Barrett. Right. Uh, unfortunately, he saved the best one for last. Right. And uh, I think to, to, uh, to his disappointment, he saturated the market. But we had a really super nice car that left here. Literally, we finished it the same day it shipped. Uh, it had working 30 caliber machine guns, air ride suspension. It, it was really tricked out. And he ran. And we it. missed that. Yeah. But hopefully we'll have another one this year to build. Well, I want, we want to see every step of that, by the way. If, if we, all you have to do is place an order and we'll be happy to get on that. If he makes me a good deal, I might have me one. Now, I heard also that Matt Miller mm -hmm. of Carl's Body Shop, we have to put on a little pep for him because he's a sponsor. I heard he's about ready to turn into Batman himself. He's he's pretty much uh, received everything that we make here. Uh, we're now we're currently working on a cycle for him. Uh, he's already purchased an '89 body that they're going to start on, and also a '66. So we've pretty much run out of bat things for Matt to buy. You're going to have to come up with the bat copter, man. Uh, that would be good. And the boat. You've got he, the boat. He, he did mention the boat. It would be nice to build him a boat. I can't wait to see Matt in that thing. <laughs> it's going to be so good. We're going to have that as an exclusive on E-Rider, too. Doug, man, God, it's, it's my childhood. Well, good. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having for us down, down here and showing us around your shop. And Absolutely. Letting us smell your fiberglass. There you go. Happy to do it. Anything of, of that nature. I've seen some stuff down here you wouldn't believe. And we're going to show some more on future segments. Keep cruising with E-Rider and Gotham Cruisers.